Hey everyone, welcome back to Excel Productions. This is an Asus Q55 OLF, which originally shipped with Windows 8. I used to use this computer with Windows 7, but due to constant driver issues, I gave up on it and upgraded to Windows 8. I've used this laptop with Windows 8 for about a week now, and the reason I'm making this video is because I'm being forced to upgrade to Windows 10. This is because several programs that I want to be able to use on this laptop dropped support for Windows 8 years ago, and I wouldn't be able to use them without Windows 7 or 10. So, how is Windows 8 in 2023? So, why did I pick Windows 8 over Windows 10, especially since Windows 10 is still supported and Windows 8 is not? Well, mostly because of Windows 10's notorious background tasks. You see, this laptop uses a spinning hard drive, not a solid state. And because of Windows 10 constantly doing background tasks, Windows 10 runs amazingly on SSDs, but on spinning hard drives, it's terrible. Windows 8 was the last Windows operating system to not have many background tasks. But of course, with solid states being more popular in the time that Windows 10 did come out and even now, it makes sense why Windows 10 would have to do all these background tasks. So if you've ever used Windows 10 on a spinning hard drive, you'd know the feeling of how slow Windows 10 is on these drives. The other reason why I picked Windows 8 is because I wanted to utilize the touchscreen that Asus put on this. Because Asus understood the assignment and not only made a computer built for Windows 8, but it runs amazingly on this. You wouldn't be able to do this on Windows 10, especially because of Windows 10's tablet mode being notoriously pretty bad. And Windows 8 being built for touchscreens, it just works. So how is it to use Windows 8 on a touchscreen laptop? Well, there's a lot of really good conveniences to being able to use the charms bar and the start menu and being able to access all your apps right there, if I could properly swipe it. And another reason I like Windows 8 is because Windows 8 is, in my opinion, a perfect cross between Windows 10 and Windows 7. Two really good operating systems put into one decent package. The reason that Windows 8 really didn't see much success was due to the fact that most people did not own touchscreen computers. Most people, back in 2012 and 2013 when 8 and 8.1 came out respectively, most of them were on desktop PCs. So Windows 8 was really of no use to them because Windows 8 was mostly made for Microsoft's Surface lineup, which hey, everyone knows how that went. Because this laptop was manufactured in 2013, I think it's actually great to see how Windows 8 could have been utilized on both a desktop and tablet interface. And I'm gonna be honest, I actually really liked Windows 8 for the time that I used it, and I'm probably gonna miss it once I upgrade to Windows 10, but I do feel that it is pretty necessary as the only reason I'll ever upgrade an OS is due to app support. As much as I'd like to use Windows 7 again, due to the aforementioned driver issues, I'm afraid I won't be able to use Windows 7 on this laptop again. So, I guess I'm going to be using Windows 10 from now and forever, I guess. <laughs> On to Windows 10, it seems.